What's up you guys, my name is Justin, this is Forever Self Employed. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about three pressure washing tools that you never knew you needed. I'm joined with a special guest, Alex here with me. Six figure inner circle member, and he's gonna walk us through three tools we didn't know we needed. Before we get into that, if you guys wanna learn how to wash every surface on a residential job site, the chemicals that you need, how to mix them properly, what equipment you need, as well as job walkthroughs, so that way you know what to do from setup to breakdown, check out the first link in the comment section and the description. That will be a link to the how to wash course. It's gonna help you get started, launch your business, and learn what you need to be doing to be effective and efficient on a pressure washing job site. So I'm going to turn the camera over to him and let's check it out. Yeah, man. So I've got a few things that I just really have loved that have pretty much made the jobs that I do faster and more efficient because that's what, really what it's all about, right? Um, first being, I really like this tall reach tip from Southeast Soft Wash. Um, I've used multiple shooter tips before. These basically give you an extra, I'd say, five, ten feet of distance versus like a normal short zero degree. Um, really good price. I mean, it shoots further than all the tall reach, all the shooter tips that I've used before. Um, it's just a great, it's just a great tool, and it's it's really low profile too. It's not sticking way far out. And for anybody who doesn't know, Alex, what's this tool that you're holding right here? Oh, this is a J rod. So I can, you know, I've got a 40 degree tip, a 25, and a 15 that I use for. Um, you know, I'll use the, the 40 degree for pre-treating the driveway or, you know, I'll use the shooter tip for shooting up high on the house. Um, I'll use these ones in between for when I want a little bit more pressure, a little bit less. So I'm able to kind of get different spray patterns without having to put them in my pocket and, you know, lose them and stuff on the ground. Well, sweet. So number one, tall reach tip. Yes, sir. Then the uh, second thing, um, this sludge sucker here, kind of a crazy looking piece of equipment, but basically the, uh, the pressure washer wand attaches to this little nozzle right here. And um, it's called the Venturi effect, if you want to look it up. I'm not even going to try to explain it. But basically, it turns uh, your pressure washer into a vacuum, right? So when you pull the trigger, it sucks all the water in the air through this tube, and you can put it somewhere in the yard. And if you have, like, a low spot or something on a driveway, you can just, you know, throw this out in the, the, lawn, the lawn or the landscaping somewhere and just get rid of all that dirty water. And, you know, then you don't have a mess on your hands. And it, it just it's, – it'll save you – tons of time waiting for it to dry and so if there's poor drainage this is the tool that you this need this is the tool yeah i mean you could get reclaim but usually that takes up a ton of room on the truck it usually costs hundreds of dollars so this is pretty much a uh, space saving cheap way to do it 100 percent. perfect and we're going to leave all the links for these tools down in the comment section description now we saved the best for last would you say this is the best tool alex yeah this is 100 percent the best tool um i use a 10 gallon a minute pressure washer so um for me to if you're familiar with you know soaping with the low pressure tips and rinsing with the high pressure right the high pressure on the 10 is just a little bit too crazy it'll blow screens out of windows it, it's just hard to manage so um what i have here it's called a remote downstream injector bypass so four words basically i can shut off my chemical and my water um with the click of a button here so you know it's got a rinse button a mix button it starts flashing your little beep and my downstream injector turns on and off, so um, I don't have to go back to the truck to move my chemical uh, injector back and forth between the water and the chemical tank. I can hit a button, and I can, I mean, honestly, I can save myself almost an hour every day. Excellent. And how far does this uh, remote reach? Far enough. I have no idea. Thousands of feet. How do you know if it changed, though? How do I know? I hear a little beat, man. So um, I got to wait a second because you got to let it sit and rinse mode for one minute yeah i mean this light's flashing so you kind of you know you basically have two checkpoints and you can you can tell too because it'll pull chemical and pull water you know within 10 15 seconds difference of each other um yeah it's called a flow pro um it's a, it's a great it's a great piece of equipment man. it's awesome so, okay sweet so summary we got tall reach tip is the sure. number one we got the sludge sucker number two and the flow pro is number yeah, three 100 man well alex appreciate yeah, you coming yeah, on man these things will save you hours of time um, on a weekly basis so excellent check them out first thing in the comment section description all right you guys peace